what is up guys and welcome back to the channel so today is first job of the season for me it's going to be a very quick small job uh i'm actually going to prune a crepe myrtle it is for one of my uh, current customers uh she just was a little concerned that because of the warm weather that we're going to have this week that it was going to bud out uh, so she wanted to have it done sooner rather than later. Uh, I will be going back at some point to uh, do the mulch. And of course, when I do the mulch, I will hopefully try to take you guys along. So anyways, uh, without further ado, let's, I'll see you guys at the job. And we'll knock that little crepe myrtle out. Real quick guys, I just want to let you know that I'm going to do one more week on the giveaway. If you can see right here, please watch the 2023 setup video for the keyword and get your entry to win this right here. Alrighty guys, I'm going to turn you around. We are here and I'll show you what we're working with. So if you can see, we have this crepe myrtle right here. That's the only one. I'm going to get you guys set up and we're going to get to pruning on this.
All right, guys, so real quick, I just want to show you something before I clip the rest of these off. So you can see up there, normally I cut those smaller ones off. But because I've done this two to three times the last few years, or I should say, I do it once a year, but I've been doing this two to three times and it's time to nip those off below those nubs so you can start fresh and then uh, I will begin cutting them no less than um, my pinky so eventually you'll create new nubs and then uh, that's just kind of how I do it but I don't go any more than that because then otherwise you're just cutting off way too much and crepe murdering so let me get those knocked off and get cleaned up and go from there Alrighty guys, so as you can see there in the background, that's a finished crepe myrtle. Uh, camera says 29 minutes and 36 seconds. So anyways guys, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little 
video. Uh, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And we're gonna. What is up, guys? And welcome back to the channel. So today, yes, it's another painting project. I know. I thought I was done with the last on the last painting project, but uh, found another one to do. So I have this Harbor Freight Trailer tongue box. This is the tongue box off the front of the landscape trailer. Um, the paint on these things is horrible. If you can tell, it's all faded. So I'm going to give it a paint job today. And I had some of this left over in a can. So we're going to go ahead and roll this on to that toolbox. So first step is, is I got to get it all uh, sanded. So let's do that. And then we'll get to painting. What is up guys it's a few days later and we finally got the toolbox mounted back on the landscape trailer because if you remember we did a paint job on that too and it does look much better but it doesn't look as good as the last paint job 
that we did on the steps on the truck. But anyways, let me turn you guys around and we'll take a look real quick. So as you can see, there's the completed tongue box with all the hardware back on it. Painted in bed liner. If I bring you guys in closer here, maybe you can see so I, I think these are some bubbles. I'm not 100% sure because in some spots it's better than others. Uh, if you remember, I mean, I cleaned it and it could have been the roller. I don't know. But either way, it looks much better than the faded black that it once was. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash the thumbs up button below. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we're going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.